I was fascinated by this coconut grove we have in Tirupur that inspired me to plant coconut trees in Baroda Ashram. We planted more than thousand coconut tree, but not even one tree came up to yield fruits, despite of so much of wastage of money, looking after it with so much of care. Yet the environment, that micronutrient that provides nourishment to the tree was not there. We don't want to analyze whether fertilizer was not there or water was not there. Enough to understand that environment was not there for its growth. If such is the case in the plant kingdom, if they are so sensitive to external environment, imagine our subtle conditions, our spiritual conditions. If you are little casual, if you are careless after the sitting, just jump up from the sitting and start wandering around, joking around, turn on the TV, turn on the fan, stretch your legs out and, mm -hmm, you know, start ordering things to your wife. That condition is immediately lost. That environment, inner environment that you have created by meditating for one hour doesn't take too long to lose it. We have to be extra careful with such subtle conditions which are bestowed by master. And we have, especially when you have worked for it, we have it in our hands, don't lose it. Little care after meditation is over. Try to be one with it. Hold on to that condition. Close your eyes, try to recognize it, what it is all about. Open your eyes gently and see if you still feel that with your open eyes. If you don't feel it, close back your eyes and see how it is. Until you have a full grip on that condition, don't get up. The world can wait. You have worked for it. Master gave it to you. Why spoil it? And each steps, every day a little condition after a little condition after a little condition, it creates such a beautiful environment. You meditate, your spouse meditates, your children meditate, your parent meditates, your friends come home and meditate. Can you imagine the environment it creates? <laughs>